It's funny because here we fought for like two hours trying to find what light to use and this kind of stuff. But the cool thing is we ended up not using any light. So what you see on this, on this part of the, of the frame is just natural light coming through the window of the shop, of the barber shop. And here we have a gigantic negative fill that now I'm gonna show you guys. So that is what is creating contrast on his face. The natural light is coming through this side of the window. So it's just natural light. And then on top here, we have a quasar that was basically giving us a little bit of backlight. It was kind of like a, something that was giving us backlight, but also acting as the key light for the barber, which is the other guy. Of course, this is not the final grade. We did a bunch of stuff for the final grade, but just to give you an example, I'm gonna go here. Here we go. And now we can talk about the, le the levels, of course. So yeah, uh, the, the light coming from the window, we didn't diffuse it because it wasn't a direct sunlight coming through. The sun was all the time behind the building. So it was very soft light coming through. Here you can clearly see the effect that the negative feel is having. And here you can see what I mean with contrast because here is how you create that interesting image, that images that stand out. Seriously guys, when you go on set, even if it's a small style, whatever, get negative fills, get some flags, get a four by four floppy, that kind of stuff, because it's, it really does make a big difference. These are really good contrast, and if you check the scale on the left here, you know, we're not crazy high in levels. We have all the information we need. There is some underexposed area in the blue here, but you know, like, it's not, a really big deal in my opinion at the end of the day you know we can see literally everything in the frame we have information which is kind of the point that i wanted to make yesterday with that pause that i did on youtube about full color like it's not that i shoot pitch black shooting underexposed means i'm i'm exposing for the highlights and the main reason why i'm i'm exposing for the highlights is because the ursa if i don't expose for the highlights is gonna clip those highlights. So with Ursa, you always have to be super low, then you can bring up the shadows in post.